You know, lately I've been turning all of my YouTube videos into IGTV videos in that vertical format so I can get more reach and more engagement on a completely different platform than just YouTube. And a lot of people have been asking me, how do you actually burn those captions into the video? And it's actually pretty simple. So I'm gonna show you three different ways to do that in this video. We're gonna burn our title at the top and our captions at the bottom. In fact, we don't even have to use any fancy software to do it. We're gonna use online tools only. So this process is actually really simple and I'm gonna put a link to everything that I mentioned down in the description below this video. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Meredith Marsh and on this channel, I help people like you grow your audience and income online using YouTube and social video content. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for me and we're gonna jump right into this because every single social social media platform out there today is a video platform. If you are publishing video content on any of those platforms, one of the key metrics you wanna pay attention to is your, your watch time or your retention. How long are viewers actually watching your video content? Because every single app wants people to stay on that app as long as possible. And one of the best, easiest ways to increase the retention and the watch time of people watching your videos is to have these burned in captions. And where this works really well is on vertical and square videos on Instagram, IGTV, and Facebook. Facebook. So like I already mentioned, I've been using IGTV for the last few months, repurposing my YouTube content over there. And I've been loving it. It's been performing pretty well for me. And it's really great to be able to share this content that I create here over on Instagram. So if you're on Instagram, let me know, have you been using IGTV? Now this used to be kind of a complicated process if you were gonna do it through a video editing uh, software like Adobe Premiere Pro but I'm gonna show you what I've been doing and it's really easy and super fast. So I'm gonna walk you through three web-based apps where you can create your burned in captions and your title so you can repurpose your content across all the social media platforms and have that amazing user experience for your viewers. So diving into these three web-based apps, the first one we're going to look at here is called Kapwing, which is kind of a funny name with a cute little uh, logo icon here. And Kapwing has a free option. There are some limits, like the video has to be less than seven minutes long and so forth, but, the way that Kapwing works is actually really interesting and the user interface is really easy to use. And so let's get started here. So we're gonna create a brand new project. I'm going to pull in a, we're gonna start with Studio. So we'll just kind of start from scratch here. I'm going to bring in a file from over here. I want something kind of small. So this is not gonna be a complete YouTube video because of that uploading limit, which is totally fine. So this is just a short one minute video that I recorded as an intro for the People of Video Conference um, over in Albany. It was virtual this year because of the pandemic, but we can do lots of different things here like trim and crop and really edit our video right within our browser. But what we want to do is actually add subtitles. So over here in the top, we're going to hit subtitles. It's going to take us to the subtitle studio. We're going to hit auto generate down here. And again, auto generate, this is in beta. So we'll see how it turns out. So what Kapwing is doing right now is the same thing that YouTube actually does. It's using its software to try and figure out what exactly I am saying in the video. So it's not gonna be 100% accurate, but it's going to be a lot quicker than typing it all out ourselves. So it's all done now and you can see what I mean by not being 100% accurate. So it says, hey, isn't Meredith so we want this to say, hey, this is Meredith Marsh here from the Vid Pro Mom YouTube channel. And so we don't have to go through every single one of these, but you would in your video. Um, and then what you can do is hit done down here in the bottom right. So now we have these automatic auto generated captions, right? But we still need to make this into either a square or a vertical video so that we can throw this up on Instagram or Facebook. So over here on the right where it says output size, I'm gonna switch from 16 to nine to nine to 16. And that's definitely not 
not looking the way that we wanted, which is totally fine. So down here under size, we're going to hit lock ratio. And that's going to let us take this YouTube video and place it wherever we want on this vertical uh, frame here. And we're going to put ours right in the middle. This is what I like to do. This works best for the Instagram feed and with IGTV. And so now our um, captions are way down there at the bottom. Now, I haven't found a way with Kapwing to move them up to so that they're right below the actual video. But what we can do is come up here under text and we can add a title and then we can move this title wherever we want. And we can also change, we could make it bold, we could change the font, we could change the size. We can change the outline. There's, you know, all the typical text editing stuff that you can do there. And then you have a title and you can play around with Kipwing and see if this will work for you for what you want to do with your captions and subtitles. And when you're done, just hit publish and it's going to process this for you. And then you'll be able to download it and then go ahead and upload it to Facebook or IGTV. Now I'm fairly new to Kipwing, but what I have been using regularly is Clipscribe. And I just want to remind you, I put a link to Clipscribe down in the description. I also have a link to Kipwing so you can try that out and also to subtitle, which we're going to talk about next. So Clipscribe, I'm a big fan of. I run all of my YouTube videos through here and the pricing is fairly reasonable. You get a lot of features for only $45 and this is I'm not sure if this is annual or forever. I, I don't know. Either way, if it's for a year, that's still pretty amazing. So I love the value that you get with Clipscribe. Now let me show you how this works. So now that I'm logged in here, you can see that I have lots of Clipscribe projects already done. And I could show you what they look like already finished, but I don't want to skip over how easy it is to actually create these and all the amazing things that you can do. So let me just pull in this people of video file again. We're going to drop it here so that it uploads. We can change the name people of video. It's in English and it's asking us if our video is shot horizontally or vertically, it was shot horizontal. So we're going to select that and hit submit. So once it's done uploading, it needs to process. It'll email us when it's done. We can just hit this onward button. So I'm going to scroll down here and it tells us that it's currently working. It's making our subtitles for us. So we'll just give it a few minutes. It shouldn't take too long because this video is only a little over a minute long. Okay, so it looks like we are done here and we're going to hit this plus button and it's going to take us over to this uh, like editing studio. So you can choose any of these uh, layout options here. I do have a template that I use um, that's already set up with my title at the top and my subtitles at the bottom. Um, but what we're going to do is actually start a new design. We'll start from scratch so that you can see exactly how to set this up. So by default, this top bar here is going to be blue. We can leave it blue and then we have our subtitles down here with this kind of uh, black or very dark gray. So what I like to do is bring my subtitles up here and this is just kind of a placeholder for where my subtitles will actually be. Oh, yeah, we're going to move this where we want it to go. We're going to say, will I see you at and people of video. Will I see you at people of video? Now we can play around with this a little bit. Um, you can create more than one headline if you wanted to um, do something like this, people of video. And we'll remove this line out of here. And we're gonna switch these around. So this at the top, it doesn't really matter. Will I see you at people of video? Something like this. I could change the color and everything, but what we really want to get to is the subtitles. So we're going to, we're going to uh, move 
past all of the design stuff, I'll let you play with that on your own. Again, I put a link down below to Clipscribe so you can go to this exact tool. And this is where, when, once you hit this closed caption button, this is where you will edit the subtitles that it created for you. So we're going to say like, Hey, this is Meredith Marsh here from the Vid Pro Mom YouTube channel. This did a little bit of a better job than Kapwing did with its automatic captions. Um, I don't have as many corrections right off the bat here. But what I like to do is just briefly scroll through these and make sure there isn't any um, glaring mistakes <laughs> like curse words or something which could happen um but if you want to make it perfect go ahead and go through and check every single word but i don't i don't do that i just kind of make sure that it makes sense and it reads normal and then once you're done with that and you have all of these edited you're going to um you come over to this little uh clock icon and you can actually choose one of these scroll bars. So let's choose this one. So this is one of those little kind of like, it's like a timer bar that plays, that goes along as your video is playing so that the viewer knows kind of how much is left of the video to watch. So if you're happy with the way that it looks, you you're going to come up here to the make button. It's a little play button here. And this is going to actually process your design. It's going to take what you designed there, plus take the subtitles that you edited, and it's going to turn it into a video file that you can download and then upload to your Instagram or Facebook or IGTV. And when we're done here, we can download this. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Now moving right along, let's take a look at subtitle. Now I have not used subtitle yet, but I hear a lot of things about it and they do have one free trial. So you can try this out on your own or you can make 10 videos a month for $19 a month or for $50 a month, you can make 30 videos. So I'm going to to come over to my videos here and we're going to check this out. So I need to add a new video. We need to upload it. So let's just upload that same people of video video. It's going to upload this. So once it's done uploading, you can see here that it has my captions all laid out here for me, which is kind of interesting, kind of a different way of doing this. I would read through this and I really like how this is displayed really easy to read here. It's different than any other caption editor I've ever seen. So I really like that. That's pretty cool. Now let's move on over to the style and we want to change this. Let's go nine to 16 vertical. Yes. So what does this do? Oh, that moves it. Okay, cool. Yeah, we do want it down at the bottom. Um, I'm good with it being centered. I like a nice centered title. Oh, we can change that. Okay. That's cool. Background color. I like black, but I like it to be a little bit more of a dark gray. We can add a headline. Oh, that makes it so easy. Um, let's see. Oh, we change it down here. People of video. Um, and we can change the position. So from here we can hit manage fonts and colors. Um, I guess, well, I want a minimal headline. Okay, that's cool. So I guess I could go in and fine tune the actual background color of the headline, but that's okay. I kind of like that. That works for me. So we'll hit download and it's going to render our video and then download it. We'll hit continue. So this is what these videos look like side by side. Over here on the left is our Kapwing download with our captions way down at the bottom with our title at the top. And then in the middle, we have our Clipscribe video, which is my personal favorite. I like that you have the timer bar and I really like that you can put these captions right below the video itself and not just way at the bottom of the screen. And then there was the subtitle download, which I really liked the workflow of the subtitle um, 
web app, but what I don't like is that the captions are still kind of stuck down way at the bottom of the screen. And that's just not my favorite way to do it because when you're scrolling through Instagram, I want my IGTV captions to be readable right there within the feed. But overall, I liked the experience of that one. In fact, I like the experience of all three of these. And I want to remind you, I put links down below to every single one of these that I talked about. And if you try one out or if you have a better option, share it with me in the comments. Now, if you want to see these kinds of videos in action, just head over to the VidPro Mom Instagram page and then head over to my IGTV page where you can see exactly what it looks like in action in real time. Now, if this video is helpful for you, make sure to pop that like button for me. And if you are in fact creating videos for YouTube and social media to grow your audience and income online, I have the perfect cheat sheet for you. This is the Edit Like a Pro cheat sheet. It's a 10-point checklist of everything you need to do to avoid some of the simple mistakes that could be costing you subscribers. So I'll put a link in the description down below to that, and I've queued up the next fantastic video for you to watch here. I know you're going to love it. I'll see you there.